This is Celine. I've crashed on an afterpot. I survived the helio spinach. Suit status operational, but my sidearm is missing. I'm leaving comms open. PlayStation Network login. It's like I can't wait to get my audio to <laughs> seven point one again. It's it's crazy. It's weird. It's like it's not giving you the uh, the typical FOV value. Why is it repeating the? the sound on the controller. Ray trace audio loaf. Enable ray trace audio that occlusion and obstruction accuracy. Fuck. Put the max and see how it looks. As long as it's not warping, see the problem is usually the warping. Like this one is definitely warping. It's too far away. As long as it's not working now. Let's see how the default looks like.
Continuing towards the signals of the I thought it looked, almost looked like the access to shit computer. It's a suit computer. Silphium. A xenofungus with unusually strong and flexible fibers that are suitable for repairing damage to integrity. The fruit bodies are green and features small antenna-like extrusions and deep tunnels, both of which are luminescent, potentially for the purposes of corrupted data. As the fruit bodies reproduce by fragmentation, they create strong web-like strands between them. Molecular analysis indicates it has an earthy anise flavor and scent similar to certain cultivated mosses. Culture samples requested by automated response AstroCam. Additional data needed for further analysis. You said AstroCam is the company she's looking for? I don't remember those doors opening that fast. Oh. Tentacle time. <laughs> oh, this is like a good uh, photo mode uh, screenshot. Okay, let's see. Sometimes you just don't care. You need a woman to look after you. Wait. I'm not doing anything. Oh. Oh. Man, pretty daisies, pretty daisies. fancier than that. Are they gonna wrap themselves around her body or something? Because that would have made it much cooler. If not, it's just a waste of time. Oh, I'm so tired. I just wanna, <laughs> I just, oh. It's eating her dead body. Oh. It was
was just tasting it. Yeah. Yeah. Previously unknown radioactive mineral with a crystalline structure and a golden glow. After separating the material from any unknown air, it can be auto-gathered by the suit resource tank. The radiation signatures on the local structures indicate that this has been the primary energy source for the sanctioned civilization, so it is highly likely that the collected minerals can be used to power dormant xenotype machinery. Additional data needed for further analysis. Hostiles, Kerberon, medium size quadruped with a lizard like torso and head. I'll just read this and move on. Uh, but with feet and mane made of long tentacle like limbs. Tentacles are usually flexible and strong, able to bunch together to, to support the creature's weight as it moves. The longer mane tentacles are most likely used for sensing environment for a threat displays as the blue luminescence emits try, uh, intensifies just as it's about to attack the creature attacks mainly with come energy it spits from its mouth and can also leap at the target at close range additional data needed for the analysis okay. review tutorial what your adrenaline is raised for every three hostiles, you only up to maximum level five, hunting damage level reset to one. Each level provides a unique effect with which stack with each other. Oh, that's funny. They know that that moment that you meet the tentacles, trying to touch your butt, you know, that you want to take a photo. So that's why the photo mode is... <laughs> Picture for the photo mode is right there. It's it's pretty funny. It's been an hour. I lost any tr sense of time ever since I started moving. I thought I've been playing this for like ten minutes. It's actually been an hour. It says on the stream it's been fifty minutes. I I refuse to believe that. <laughs> it's been fifty minutes, really. Are you serious? That must be an error. I, I, I refuse to believe it's been 50 minutes. A tropian key. the fuck we'll get to that side
you make pretty daisies, pretty daisies. I think you have to go back because there was a door that was locked. Get addressed the issue with like this room is just like really bright, so when you're playing a game like this, it's kind of dark. You know, it's hard to see. So, <sighs> might need a um, like some blackout curtain. I have one actually from the previous uh, place I was in. So, just looking to see. Okay, yeah, I think I should be able to install it if I can find it. There's so many boxes. It's worse if I flip it the other way. Let me let me see. Let me check these curtains here. Well, maybe not. <laughs> this is a lot better. Okay. Dash the fucking laser wall. That's what that saying. Oh. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. I think they want you to do. Oh, oh, you actually can. Ew, what was that? Even with frame generation, there was like that weird uh, frame drop. This is where I came from, right? What? <laughs> At least you didn't die, though. <laughs> yeah, this is where I came from. I was just getting confused, and like I said, I'm, I'm really tired right now. I'm pretty tired. I just, uh, I did my best actually to just grab my, s unpack my streaming supplies. I should have like kept them in like the same box. That was my mistake. I did keep like 
the camera and the capture device actually inside the streaming PC. But then I didn't even think about the other things. Like uh, it took me a while to find my uh, my splitter and my. Um, I used two splitters. Uh, downscaler. I, well, I guess they're not both splitters. One is a downscaler, and the other one's a splitter. So. Oh, this is new. So it took me a while to find them. As soon as I found them, I was like, okay, I think I have enough stuff that I can start streaming again. So, <laughs> I hook them up real quick. I, I really don't have the energy to, like, completely set up my surround uh, sound. Because right now it's just, like, 2.0. I, I, I can't believe that PC doesn't have, like, 2.1... Um, Oh, no, it's here. Um, it's this cable, isn't it? This cable is the one that's starting to have issues. I think this cable comes with a lifetime warranty. I have to check. Malignant key. Causing no functions. Okay. Oh, when you pick it up. Collect artifacts. That's kind of shitty. I guess because sometimes it has good stuff. Consumer events that in that projector always have a chance to create malfunction. Gaining a third malfunction triggers critical malfunction will destroy a random carried item. So, they just don't pick up that thing. I guess unless that thing is automatically picked up. I think you automatically pick it up, maybe that's why. Because it doesn't make sense why you want to get negative effect on you. So I saw. That's how I sounded like. Like the past. Like last, early last week until the over the weekend, through the throughout the weekend. That's exactly how it sounded like. All of them <laughs> dying. 
Uh. It is impossible to escape. I have tried everything. I'm always brought back by... There is a moment between death and rebirth when tentacles drag me down, screaming, drowning, returning. Screaming, drowning, returning. Wait, what? She got smacked twice in the head. And she did. I think she was meant to die there. Don't you wish you can just return with you? Or experience a new cycle after death. Oh, that's achievement. God damn, there's something wrong with this with this wire for sure. So now I know which brand is this. And this is a fancier freaking USB wire too. It's it's like all braided and thick and shit and and it's still shit. Psychological profile flagged. Heterochromia. What is heterochromia? Okay, Google. What is heterochromia? According to Wikipedia, heterochromia is a variation in coloration. Oh, it's just your eyes. But it's trauma induced. How can trauma... Uh, okay, so physical trauma. Because I'm thinking psychological trauma. It's physical trauma. Something happened where she poked her eye. And so one of her... One of her eyes... You know, has a different color. That's, that's interesting. Let's start talking to somebody about something. Like this part reminds me of Silent Hill the Room. You know, it's 
like all of a sudden you're like in first person. It's just weird. Oh, look at this. This is the, the steam um, extra costume. They don't even look that different. <sighs> okay, first step. And I'm gonna switch though. I just I just thought it would be funny to play this, because it's my return to Twitch. After how long? I think last time I streamed was like oh, two weeks ago. So, I mean, I got here like about a week ago, a little a little more than a week ago. A little more than a week ago, but you know, I didn't even get my my gaming items until like um, Thursday. I thought I would I, w I was gonna get them like by Tuesday, but I didn't get them until Thursday, and then some got delayed and didn't even arrive until like over the weekend. So it, it's been really exhausting you know getting all these items and trying to put them away and you know unpacking them making sure that everything looks okay uh, all I all I've done with with the boxes of games I just look at them make sure that the boxes don't look damaged you know I like I said I, I was I was prioritizing getting the streaming stuff all um, taken care of so that at least I can stream because you know I, I didn't have any my streaming setup done but I, I've been gaming a little bit because my PC is here you know um, the, none of the consoles are hooked up <laughs> but the PC is here so um, I primarily game on the PC anyway so I do have the uh, the switch where's the switch the switch is somewhere <laughs> They're all in the house, so I know that. At least they're in the house. I just I just don't remember where I put them. I think they're in the closet. Um, I have the Steam Deck. I have the Switch easily, I think easily accessible. I'm sure that I put them in the closet. Um, I I have them in the in their carry uh, case, um, so they were not packed with the rest of the stuff. You know, I just carried them with me. Um, so yeah, I mean the the main thing I think now the next thing for me is to um, start unpacking. I guess I already have a general idea of where things gonna go. Um, this room is much smaller than the room I was in last time, but I I made some measurements. I can do VR in this room. All I have to do to do VR is I just need to move this chair to the side right here. I just move the chair over here and I have 6x5 here. So right behind me, this this space. I just can't put any cabinets on the wall or... That wall is okay, I already measured it, but I can't... I can't put... No, I can I can put something like really thin here to, to the right. But it, it has to be like pretty thin. It can't be like that dresser over there. I don't even know if I'm going to keep that dresser here in this room um, but yeah I have a lot of gaming stuff you know and I have a lot of physical games I have a lot of like special PlayStation 2 I think I have them the uh, the most I have uh, for for uh, the consoles actually is for the PlayStation 2 I think second is Xbox and Xbox 360 and then PlayStation 3 um, uh yeah so <laughs> it's it's a lot it's a lot i know um you know a lot of people don't have the luxury of having a game room i i, I you know i i feel um lucky to to have access to a game room so i can't i you know it feels like i shouldn't complain you know but I just I just wish that the <laughs> the room is a little bigger, so I can just keep everything here. Um, at this point, I probably have to use like other places in the house to uh, to house to uh, put away my games. So, but I, I already expected that, you know. 
we'll see. Um, so I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna keep streaming this way. I, I think it would be cool to see uh, the progression like I did before. <laughs> I know um, after I packed some of my stuff, I, I started streaming this way and then I started decorating the room. And then not too long after, I started taking everything down because actually I am moving, you know, I am moving. Oh, shit. And I already started putting stuff up, you know, and then I was like, oh, God damn. <laughs> but it was okay, you know. I mean, and moving is always stressful, though, but, not, but I have moved so many times, so... So it was very exhausting, you know, emotionally, physically. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to uh, get back into the groove of things, you know. So yeah, um, <laughs> I think moving, like if when when you're moving, like such a distance. It should be like a, you should only do that like once. <laughs> I think that's all, that, that's the, um, the only, you can only uh, survive it once, I think. But I've done it like twice now, including this one, so this is the second time. So, I mean, the, the, the move, previous move to this is not that bad, actually, but this move was, was really something else. But yeah, um, I'll come back and play more of this. I just, I just thought it was funny, you know, that for me to play this game <laughs> as my um, return to Twitch game. So, uh, so yeah, let me let me switch to a different game, and I'll be back. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I gotta, I gotta sit down and like really think about whether or not I want to keep using this split screen thing. I said I think it would be cool to see the difference, um, but what the problem I think is because I upload everything to YouTube. YouTube takes so long to process my uh, ultra wide screen, um, split screen um, videos. Take them so long. I mean, not that it matters anyway. I mean, they can take however long they they like. You know, not that it matters, but <laughs> sometimes you know because I stream a lot. You know, I stream and I forward it over to YouTube and then it's like they begin to stack up and nothing's close to being done you know it, it, just that I guess it bothers me a little bit but anyway I'm gonna stop the stream here um, I'm happy to be back on uh, Twitch or streaming again um, YouTube now has some pretty cool feature if I decide to just stream over there I mean they have that stupid um, I'm not sure if that's only for um, partnered though partnered streams I don't know because now they have that little stupid thing that Instagram has because <laughs> I remember watching one of the people I follow I, I follow on, on YouTube and the button showed up and then you can spam hearts or all that the funny thing is like stuff like that doesn't matter to like small streamers anyway because no one's ever gonna be in the chat to show some love to you <laughs> So it's only like a fun thing if you have an audience, but so um, but yeah, it was nice to see it because it seems like YouTube is putting some efforts into making YouTube streaming a little bit more fun. They, you know, I I think I mentioned before that uh, when they were doing stuff to make YouTube mobile streaming uh, better for the end user. I put a comment in there saying, okay, you know, I mean, I, I stream game stuff and I, you know, I, I don't do mobile streaming, you know, I stream from my desktop and the dashboard is really, really not user friendly, you know, you have, you have, it needs to be refreshed and before you can do another stream, you know, and this and then they claim that they were going to focus on that next, but that's been like a year and a half, <laughs> so... Twitch seems like it's the, the only place for you to be able to do this with, with the convenience that's being offered, you know. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll switch to a different game. She has like plastic fork and, oh, maybe there's a metal fork, but... The fork looks kind of weird. Is that because of DLSS? 
What is that? There's some like there's stuff on top of the fork. I wonder if it's DLSS not able to process that. Um, hold on, we'll we'll check it out. Because you know sometimes DLSS doesn't, for some reason, has issues processing certain images. So I wonder. No, it's in the game and. Wow. Without the LSS, it still runs pretty good. So, but yeah. Uh, they have everything here FSR. What? Uh, oh, oh, GPU, RAM hit, CPU. Now, frame generation, though, I, it's mm -hmm. like, if you're not playing more than 60 FPS, I mean, is, is it even worth turning that on? Seems like it's for people who want to have, like, 200 frames per second, and I don't have that kind of monitor. So, anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Um, yeah, and I can't find my... <laughs> I can't find the little uh, uh, numbered keyboard that I have make it easy for me to uh, to switch s s uh, scenes and all that and, and I don't even have a second monitor right now and I don't think I'm gonna have one in this in this room because it's so small you before I was able to put like um, an extension to my little table in front of me to the left where I can place the monitor now I'm looking I might be able to I might be able to put a table here but uh, I don't know it seems like the only way for me to do this now is using my tablet as the um, to monitor my stream, you know, um, and then hope that when I click on the button that it's going to trigger. So I have to be careful about that because I can't like, you know, um, click the FK button and then just run out of the room just in case I'm not wearing pants, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to be running around like half naked on the stream. So I have to be careful about that. Um, you always have to wear pants when, when you're streaming. So you never know if you jump scare is so hard that you, you know, jump, <laughs> jump off, you jump up like a couple of meters off your chair. But anyway, but yeah, I have to be careful about stuff like that um, until I can figure out a way to, to get a second monitor in here. But I don't... I have a feeling that it's not going to happen because uh, it's just a little too much. It's, it's just a lot. I, maybe on this side. I don't know. Maybe I can put one on this side because this side is going to be free, I think. So, we'll see. <laughs> 